Want to learn how to build a raised bed that's sturdy and cheap? We're going to show you in this video. So I've had a few people message me on Facebook and Instagram asking about my raised beds and how we make them. I came up with this design and it gives you a four by eight raised bed that's about 11 inches deep. The biggest thing though is that it allows you to build a raised bed for under $30. All right, so here's everything you'll need to build one of these raised beds. All the lumber here can be purchased at Lowe's. You don't need to go to a lumber yard. You're gonna need six two by sixes by approximately eight feet long. These go for about $4.50 a piece at Lowe's. You're gonna need a couple of these balusters that are gonna be in the decking section. They're pressure treated. They go for 97 cents a piece. Uh, one I have there full length and then the other two pieces that you see are pieces I've already cut. You're gonna need decking screws. The decking screws I'm using are grip right two and a half inch long uh, with tan paint job on them. Uh, I had these left over from a decking project that we did. So that's what I'm using, but any two and a half inch long screw should work out just fine. You're gonna need a drill, and you're gonna need at least a circular saw. You could do it with a hand saw, uh, but a circular saw makes quick work. Or if you have a miter saw like I do, it makes even quicker work. The cuts for the project are super simple. You're gonna take four of the two by sixes and you're gonna cut them to eight feet long. And then you're gonna take the last two that are left over and cut two sections each four feet long from each one. So here's our finished cuts. We have our four pieces of four foot long two by six, our four pieces of eight foot long two by six, and we have six pieces of 10 inch long pressure treated baluster. The 10 inches on the baluster is just a ballpark. It doesn't have to be exact. These actually aren't gonna be seen when you have the raised beds filled. They're just gonna go in the corners and then four feet down the eight foot sides uh, for support. So first thing we're gonna do is take our four foot sections and we're gonna make the ends of the raised bed. To start, you're gonna measure an inch and a half in. From the end. And you're gonna mark a line all the way across. And what's gonna happen there is we're going to take our inside support and we're going to use that just like that to form the ends of the box. So you can see we've got that one installed. If it splits up at the top, it's no big deal. Uh, you could pre-drill these if you really wanted to, but we're building raised beds. It's not the end of the world if there's a split. And like I said, you're not going to see these once the raised beds are complete anyway. So we're not going to worry about that one. All right, let's do the other side.
All right, so we've got one side done. Now we're just gonna do the same thing with the other two pieces of four foot two by six. All right, so the last thing we've got to do now is take our ends that we have built up and line them up with our eight foot sections. So this right here is what a corner looks like before it's attached. What I like to do is actually use four screws from here on out. I like to take two and put one here and one here to hold this side rail into the piece of baluster. Then I also like to come back, and put one here and one here. And what that'll do is that basically reinforces the corner, uh, connects everything together and it makes it super strong. So right there is your raised beds with just the bottom rows of the sides on. It's the same way attaching the top and once we attach the top on each side we'll come back and we'll add a supporting brace in the middle. Last thing you're gonna do is go about halfway down the long side and you're gonna screw from the outside a support piece on the inside. You're gonna go through the top and bottom and what that's gonna do is that's gonna tie the top and bottom sides together and keep them from bowing out. And there you go, your finished four by eight raised bed. If you're doing the math on how much dirt you're gonna to need to fill these, each one is 32 cubic feet. A yard of dirt is 27 cubic feet. So each one takes just over a yard. When I did the figuring for how much dirt we were gonna need, I ended up just ordering a yard per each and then throwing in an extra three yards on top of it. I figured if we had too much dirt for the race beds, I'd find a place to put that other dirt, either mix it in with a bed near the house or use it to top coat some spots where we've had bad grass uh, growth. So you can see the six raised beds we've already made behind us. I'm gonna go inside and grab that last one. The nice thing about these plans is that you can cut the sides short if you wanna do a four foot bed like we have over there for the strawberries. They're really pretty versatile and at under 30 bucks each, they're super cheap. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below and we'll get back to them as quick as we can. Thanks for watching.